We used to build things by cutting away material. We carved wood, chipped stone, and milled metal. Now we can build by adding material layer by tiny layer. This is 3D printing. Imagine a printer that uses plastic instead of ink. It builds objects, not on paper, but in three dimensions. Exciting, isn't it? 3D printing is changing how we make things, from toys to tools and even parts for airplanes. It is a revolution in manufacturing. A 3D printer works its magic with a spool of plastic filament, transforming raw material into intricate designs. This filament is like a long, thin thread of plastic, wound tightly on a spool, ready to be transformed. The printer heats the filament, turning it into a liquid. This process is crucial, as it allows the plastic to be molded into any shape. This liquid plastic is then carefully squeezed out or extruded through a tiny nozzle. The precision of this step is vital for creating detailed objects. The nozzle moves precisely, following instructions from a computer design. These designs can be anything from simple shapes to complex structures. It deposits the liquid plastic onto a build platform, layer by layer, each layer is meticulously placed to ensure the final product is accurate. As the layers cool and harden, they bond together, slowly forming the final object. This bonding process is what gives the object its strength and durability. It's a bit like building a castle out of sand, one grain at a time. Each layer adds to the structure, making it more robust. Only, instead of sand, we use plastic, and instead of our hands, we use a very clever machine. This machine can create almost anything you can imagine, from toys to tools, and even parts for cars and airplanes. The possibilities are endless with 3D printing technology. Now imagine trying to build a bridge out of sand. It sounds impossible, right? The sand would just fall apart without something to hold it together. This is similar to how 3D printing works when creating complex structures. You can't just build the arches in mid-air, can you? The arches need a foundation, a base to rest upon while they are being constructed. In the world of 3D printing, this foundation is provided by support materials. You need something to support them until the whole structure is complete. These supports are crucial for maintaining the integrity of the design during the printing process. That's where support material comes in. It acts as a temporary framework that holds up the parts of the design that would otherwise be impossible to print. In 3D printing, support material acts like scaffolding. Just as scaffolding supports a building under construction, support material provides the necessary stability for the 3D printed object. It provides a temporary structure for overhanging parts or intricate details. These details might include complex geometries, overhangs, or delicate features that need extra support. Without supports, these parts would simply collapse during printing. The entire design could fail, leading to wasted material and time. Let's say you're printing a model of a tree. Trees have branches that extend outwards, creating overhangs that need support during the printing process. The branches stick out, defying gravity. Without support material, these branches would droop or collapse before the printing is complete. Support material acts as temporary pillars, holding the branches up until the printing is finished and the plastic has solidified. Once the print is complete, these supports can be removed, leaving behind the intricate and detailed final product. There are different types of support material, each with its own advantages. Some are designed to be easily removed by hand, while others require dissolving in a special solution. The choice of support material depends on the complexity of your design and the material you're printing with. Luckily, most 3D printing software can automatically generate the necessary supports based on your design. It's like choosing the right type of scaffolding for a building project. A small shed doesn't need the same heavy-duty scaffolding as a skyscraper. 
breaking it down, removing supports. Once your 3D printed object is complete, it's time to say goodbye to the supports. These supports are essential during the printing process, providing the necessary structure to create overhangs and complex geometries. This is usually a simple process, but it requires a bit of care and patience. Rushing through it can damage your print, so take your time. For some supports, you can simply break them off with your hands. This method works well for larger, more accessible supports that are not too tightly attached. Others might require a bit of help from pliers or a craft knife. These tools are especially useful for smaller, more intricate supports that are difficult to reach. Soluble supports, on the other hand, dissolve in a special solution, leaving your object clean and smooth. This method is ideal for prints with complex internal structures where manual removal would be challenging. Think of it like removing the scaffolding from a finished building. The supports have done their job and now it's time to reveal the final product. It reveals the final structure in all its glory. The process of removing supports is a crucial step in ensuring your 3D print looks its best. Take your time, use the right tools, and you'll be rewarded with a perfect print. The freedom to design. Support material is a crucial part of 3D printing because it gives us design freedom. We are no longer limited to simple shapes that can stand on their own. We can create complex, intricate objects with overhangs, cavities, and intricate details. This opens up a world of possibilities. We can print customized tools, intricate jewelry, replacement parts for household appliances, and even medical implants tailored to an individual patient. It's like being handed a magic wand that can create almost anything you can imagine. 3D printing, the future is now. 3D printing is no longer a futuristic fantasy. It's here, it's real, and it's changing the world around us. From hobbyists creating amazing models in their garages, to engineers developing cutting-edge technologies, 3D printing is making its mark. And at the heart of this revolution lies support material, the unsung hero that makes the impossible possible. It allows us to push the boundaries of design and bring our wildest ideas to life. The future of manufacturing is here, and it's printed, one layer at a time. Join the revolution. So, are you ready to join the 3D printing revolution? There's never been a better time to dive into this exciting world. There are countless resources available online, from beginner tutorials to advanced design guides. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more 3D printing tips and tricks, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. See you in the next one.